Aloha folks, it's Kira Balul with Maui Now. With 145 years of sugar operations on Maui coming to a close this year, we wanted to recognize the past, present, and future of that industry in our series, Maui Sugar, the End of an Era. And we also wanted to recognize some of the businesses that helped make this very important series possible. Well, I think sugar on Maui, um, it hasn't just affected the physical landscape of the island, but um, almost every part of our lives, um, you know, infrastructure development, housing, politics, uh, the different cultures that's come to Hawaii. Um, I, th I think it's, it's a huge part of what Maui is today. I feel like the sugar industry here has been um, almost like the cornerstone of Maui. Um, I was thinking about it on the way over here, and it's interesting how the sugar mill is kind of right in the center of the island. It's, it's really kind of like it connects the two, you know, both sides of the island, and, and it's it's really the cornerstone of the island. So um, it'll be interesting to see how we move forward and how Maui grows and moves past this era. And we have some employees that are former HCNS, and you know, obviously they they're first generation here, so they have you know certain language skills that have enabled them to come to work for us. Um, but looking at their concern, their concern is more for their parents and, and like where they're going to fit in with sugar not being here and what opportunities they'll have available. Um, just from a, a more an anecdotal side note, um, you know, I live up country, I drive down the mountain every day and I use the smokestacks of the sugar cane to kind of gauge what the wind's like because um, I paddle and, you know, it, we, it's, it's just that icon that we stare at and gives us a beat on what's going on with the weather. We we have a guy that just started working with us, Kobe. He he came from HCNS. He's a real good worker. Um, sad they lost his job there, but yeah, he's an awesome guy. Uh, yeah, so it affects more than more than just my family as people I know, and I know there's a lot of people out there looking for jobs. They're all good guys, and plus two, we all grew up. Um, around the sugar industry. It's been here for uh, 100 something years. So it's not a new thing. My family, yeah. Well, everybody that was born and raised here kind of lived with it. It's not, wasn't too much of a deal for us. But yeah, just something that we knew from the beginning. It had an impact on my life because I literally grew up around sugar cane fields. So we played in them, we get chased out of them. Uh, you know, uh, it, it's it's going to be strange not seeing sugar anymore. Um, Maui is, you know, so many communities grew up because of sugar. So it's going to be really interesting to see how things play out in the future. So some insightful thoughts on the impact of this very significant industry on our island. And you can check out more on the series. Wendy Osher and our team have done just a wonderful job with all of these videos. There's an inside look at a lot of different aspects, including a mill tour that's really fascinating. And you can find more on our website at MauiNow.com. I'm Kira Balul for Maui Now. Mahalo for watching.